Today marks a year since that EF3 tornado ripped through Seneca, and the city says there's been remarkable progress, but some residents say the recovery is taking longer than they expected. 7 News' Asia Wilson explains. The city of Seneca says considering where they were one year ago, great strides have been made, but some families say they still face some roadblocks with insurance and contractors. As a deadly tornado left destruction at this family's home last April, they were finally able to move back in last month. We prepared to take clothes for a few months, assuming we'd be back in July. It took them nearly 11 months for this to happen. They say the long road was a result of some roadblocks with contractors. When they walked off the job, they wouldn't relinquish the right for that uh, permit. We had to fight with them for about a month before we were even allowed to work on our own house. And right down the road. And put a new seal around the chimney. Their neighbors experienced months of trials and problems too. There's been several contractors that represented themselves as contractors that were not licensed. That caused a lot of setback. On top of that, delayed building materials also became an issue for some, adding that prices skyrocketed due to COVID or took a while to receive supplies they needed. We came to the siding that it took a three month lead time when they ordered the materials. The city says hundreds have been helped with a tornado relief fund, including help from thousands of volunteers from the community, like this pastor from Ann Hope United Methodist Church. He's been a part of the Oconee County long term recovery team. Thanks be to God that through this past year, a lot has been done, but it's going to continue to be an effort to do. Uh, mainly because of some of the trees. The city says there are trees and debris remaining and larger tracts of land are receiving quotes of 100,000 or more to still clear. I knew that it was going to take a long time. I didn't think some of the issues that we were having would take as long as it's took. But overall, some families say, although there's still a long road ahead, they're glad some progress is being made. Absolutely. I mean, we're seeing it every day. The city of Seneca says they're doing everything they can to continue to help families during this time and get things back to normal quickly as possible. In Seneca, Asia Wilson, 7 News. The Seneca City Administrator says he will meet with the Forestry Commission and the Fire Chief next week to see if a controlled burn of some sort is an option to help property owners with the piles of debris and all those downed trees.